US dollar under pressure as markets price in negative interest rates. Now, you would have seen at the back end of this latest week over the course of Thursday and Friday, we started seeing an easing, a cooling in the dollar after such a strong start to the week. Bear in mind, we'd you know pushed aggressively higher at the open on Sunday. We rallied on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Now, why the cooling? Um, well, one of the key things to note is data out of the United States has really been less than impressive, very much lackluster. You know, we've seen huge contraction uh, in the United States GDP. We've seen millions, you know, uh, still, of course, out of work, unfortunately. You know, key data points like manufacturing, not doing well, services, understandably, so on and so forth with, obviously, with this uh, coronavirus situation. Okay, so that has led markets to start to price in further action from the FMC. Bear in mind, if con been conducting all this stimulus, pumping loads of money into the markets, this QE, all these schemes, um, but markets are a little bit worried, like this is still not having a, a, you know, an effect, you know, this is not filtering through right now. So they're beginning to price in negative interest rates for early 2021, so early next year. Okay, now bear in mind, you know, rate cuts in general are a negative for a respective currency. Why? Because you're driving away foreign investment. Investors come, they want to invest, um, you know, they want to put their money where there's a yield. <laughs> and with US potentially lowering rates again, you know, you're going to be less inclined to want to put your money there. You're going to see, uh, you want to take your money out and go somewhere else where there is a yield. Okay, so you'll see an outflows of dollar, hence dollar weakness. So that's just that explanation in a nutshell. So we've got the market's price in negative rates. And then the Chinese and US tensions actually eased towards the, the latter stages of last week, following um, a decent call late on Thursday night into Friday morning between US and Chinese trade officials. Now they went well and they both agreed that they're gonna be meeting with their obligations as part of the phase one deal, the phase one deal, which was a big step towards ending uh, that trade war, okay, between US and China. So they're gonna be meeting with their obligations following that phase one deal uh, signing in Jan January. So that also sort of saw some weakness in the dollar, just an easing of the requirement for the safe haven there, okay? Uh, so these are the couple of things to note. Now, what does this all mean for the markets going forward? Well. You know, we're still um, trying to find our feet. As I say, markets are a little bit choppy. You know, we're chopping and changing in terms of the themes. But right now, this is good for the riskier currencies, the likes of AUD, NZD, CAD. You know, when there's optimism in the markets, particularly with governments still easing, gradually easing their lockdown restrictions, which is good because they want to get the economy going. Um, so again, that helps market sentiment. It helps those riskier assets. It uh, reduces the need for safe haven flow. Okay, um, guys, look, as I say, all of this we cover every single day, real time analysis at freaknetwork.io. So, do not hesitate to check out our membership there uh, where we go through fundamental analysis daily, tying it in with the technicals, looking at setups, trade ideas, so on and so forth. Other than that, baby, stay lit. Let's get it. Scroll!